I'm Colin Hung, editor at Healthcare IT Today, and I'm looking forward to this conversation because we're going to talk about an area of hospital communication that gets overlooked by a lot of people. We're going to talk to Jake here around how clinicians and people internally use smartphones to communicate inside the hospital. This is Jacob Campbell, Hi. systems analyst with Blessing Healthcare System, who operates uh, facilities in Illinois and Missouri. Jake, welcome. Thank Thanks you. for joining yeah, me. Thanks. So tell me a little bit about yourself and your role at Blessing. Um, so in my role at Blessing, uh, I work a lot on our EMR. I write reports. Um, we have medical logic modules that we write as well. But on the, on the flip side of that, uh, I am the systems application analyst over top of our Volt product. Um, I work with Volt to uh, enhance what we have already and to implement upgrades, um, upgrade phones, that type of thing, and other duties as assigned, of course. So. so tell me a little bit about Volt. So Volt is the, is, is the application and the, and the platform that you use to... It, it's for our sec secure text messaging solution. On top of that, um, it, it's an easy way to uh, call, you know, inner roles, you know, nurse needs to get a hold of a physician. Uh, it's right at their fingertips on their smartphone that we uh, provide within the hospital. Um, and we also use it as our alarm system as well for you know, nurse call or um, various other alarms. So it sounds like it's sort of a, a, a platform that allows you to consolidate all the internal communications yes. onto a device that they're used to using, like yes. a little smartphone. Yeah, it, it's really nice uh, that it can load directly onto an iPhone. Um, people are already intuitive enough to know how to operate that device, so it's great. Excellent. And so, and how long have you been using Gold? Um, I think it was implemented first in 2014, so it's been quite a while now. So you've been uh, using it for a while. Years. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And, and how do you, uh, have you had any uh, challenges or are you kind of looking to, to get some more insights into how people are using uh, the, the communications tool that you have? Yes. Um, one of the key areas that we kind of struggle with is understanding um, just how many alarms people are getting. Um, you know, alarm fatigue is a very real thing. Right. A lot of people think uh, we should send an alarm for this or we should do that uh, when they don't really think about the impact that could have to that end user. They could be getting just tons and tons of alarms. So um, yes, that's one of the areas that we need to really address and see how much we're getting. So how, how have you done that in the past? Like how did you figure out like if someone's getting too many alarms or is that? It, it was very difficult, you know? <laughs> okay. it, it was kind of just word of mouth. Um, there wasn't a real good solution. We could see some of the stuff coming through Hillrom, um, and we could see some of the stuff coming through Connexol, uh, but those are two different systems, and they both contain different data, when really Volt is the endpoint that they go to. We need to know how many Volt's getting overall. That, that's what, what we need. Right, and we were talking before about how Volt has introduced this new product line of theirs Correct. called Volt Insight, yep. and has that helped you with this problem? Yes, yes very much so. Um, that, that one view, the, the dashboard that they have for the alarms has, has generated enough um, content for us that we can adequately say, uh, on average, people are receiving X amount of alarms. Um, and from there, we can make decisions on, should we really implement this next one? Should, you know, are, are they already getting overwhelmed? Or you know, maybe we should take a different approach. We should relook at this and, and really determine, do we need it or not? So it sounds like through that Volt Insight product, you're able to kind of zero in on, hey, there's maybe a problem area here, maybe yes. too many, and you can do some workflow changes or just you know yep. kind of implement it a little bit differently. And That's exactly it. Amazing. Yep. Amazing. And and what's the impact been like since you guys have gotten access to this new product? I mean, is it's, it? It's been great. Um, outside of just the alarm management, mm -hmm. it's given us a way to uh, see our provider adoption rates as well. Um, a lot of the times we'll try to encourage our physicians to uh, sign up with Volt, get on board with it, um, but we don't really require it per se. Um, so seeing that adoption rate as well has been huge for us. Our medical staff office just recently got access to it and they're, they're totally thrilled to be looking at that data and, and, and figuring out what kind of strategies they need to take to uh, improve the adoption rate. I love that. Yeah. I love it, that because you invested helpful. so much in this product and you invested so much in the platform. Yes. If you're able now to show, hey, this physician is really going to, uh, you know, exemplar of yes. adoption, this one isn't, maybe it's a bit of a training. I mean, you can see that now yep. and this, it sounds like you can see that on the dashboard. It shows all the value added and where we need to assess, um, you know, this person seems to be struggling, but exactly like you said, maybe we should go reach out to them and say, you know, what can I help you with? So if I was a fellow a systems analyst or a CIO of a hospital or a facility, and I was thinking about implementing this kind of smartphone communications, what would you say to me? Should I, should I do it? Is it a good thing? What, what, would you, what I, practical advice would you give me? I, I would say um, go for it, but um, understand that when 
especially with alarms. Um, when, when you open the door to uh, start throwing alarms through the system, you, you need to have something in place to assess what's really needed and what's not. Um, like I said earlier, alarm fatigue is a very real thing and nurses can get overwhelmed, you know, care providers can get overwhelmed, um, but really just be ready to have those conversations about what's needed, what's not, uh, and as long as you have that outlined, I think you'll be set to go. And if, and if I was a fellow Volt customer, so I'm already on the platform, but I don't have access to Insight, Volt Insights quite yet, what would you tell me in terms of what can I look forward to? Oh, man, uh, a lot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it really gives you the, in, in granular detail, if you want to go that deep, uh, you know, how long did it take this certain person to read this text message, or how long did this call last, or, you know, it, it gives you everything you want, um, plus a little bit more. You, you can go very broad or very uh, precise, and I think that's one of the, the really important pieces of the tool, is, is it's totally up to you how you want to use that. It just gives you the data. <laughs> amazing, <laughs> amazing. And what, what's sort of, what's down the road? Where, where are you going to take Volt and Volt Insight in the next little bit? Man, um, I would say one of the, the important pieces that we really need to uh, focus on is getting, getting our top level staff, our, our chiefs, to start looking at the data as well. And just recently, um, they, they had integrated into uh, Volt Insight the administrator dashboard, which is a high level overview of every little piece of data that they have. Um, and when you think about what you want your chiefs and, and your executives to see, you don't want them to see all the little tiny things because they're just going to look at it and be like, this is, I, I don't want to focus too much on it, but give me, give me the, the, you know, the dashboard. That's exactly what they did. So I think at this point, we're, we're going to start conversations with them and, and get their eyes on it and uh, their opinions of it and really start steering towards a direction that uh, we can decide upon as an organization for, for Volt. Wow. Jake, it sounds like you guys are doing amazing things with this yes. tool. It sounds amazing. Thank you so much for giving Absolutely. us your time today and yeah. uh, giving us this story. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Hi, this has been Colin Hung with Healthcare IT Today. We've just been talking with Jake Campbell from Blessing Health System about their internal communications tool, Volt and Volt Insight, and all the benefits they've gotten from it. Thanks for watching.